Welcome to PS for Badger Plays Minecraft. Let's play episode number three. Uh, as you can see, I've been uh, doing a little bit of building because watching me chop down trees and then build stuff is uh, fairly boring. Uh, I did make myself quite the uh, base for my tree. I wanted to get the basics laid out so that I could give you guys a good view, an idea of what it is we're looking at. There is the tree. Notice the rings. Cut a little bit of oak, cut a little bit of jungle wood, and then concentric circles. Uh, right now, along the long walls, you see I've got a whole lot of cocoa seeds. Uh, yeah, cocoa seeds grown. Uh, that's just to give me the option for some cookies as opposed to just eating bread. Uh, I made a little wheat farm over here, just threw some dirt in the pond to fill that in. Uh, there's my roots. They're feeling like they're kind of small at the moment, so I'll most likely expand those as well. Uh, I think I'd like them to reach out probably twice what they do now. And um, yeah. Uh, where I've got now the four rows of space, what I'll most likely do is move in one square to make the tree shrink a little bit, and then I'll go up probably another two floors, and I believe I'll have each of my floors uh, a total of four blocks tall, plus one for the floor, so five, so I'll add another ten uh, levels with a slightly smaller circle than the one that's currently there. Grab my pick because I am not prepared. Uh, as you see I'm using mostly wooden tools. I have not been doing any digging while I was working on this. Only cutting down trees, growing trees, and going. Um, Cutting down trees, growing trees, dispatching the occasional skeleton, uh, and that's about it. Now, what I did do is I made myself, uh, I made a block of oak trees. Uh, they grow really easily now together. Uh, back on topic, uh, between the leaves here, I made myself a little staircase up into the tree. I am thinking about cutting out a cellar. And the cell I would most likely put in here. It would consist of probably a button in order to open up a couple of hatches to get me directly down into the ground. I say this because currently the level that my floor is on over here is actually one to two tiles only two blocks above the normal dirt. So instead of having a void down here that I have to worry about lighting and all kinds of stuff spawning in and trying to murder me, I mean, what the heck, why not put a basement on it? A lot of creatures live underneath trees and roots. Why not make a basement that uh, mirrors that? This space is, I believe, 21 squares across. Now let's check. Outside wall, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 21, including walls, 19 not including walls. Uh, I decided on an odd number. It just felt right to me versus an even number. I don't know why, but that's how I chose to do it. Uh, let's see. I'm down to five jungle wood, making a four tall, 21 wide circle. It takes a huge amount of wood. I believe I went through something like five or six stacks of it. Um, I'm going to have to cut down a whole bunch more. Something I did do was as I got ready to put up the circle, I built the circle and then cleared out everything surrounding it. I am going to have to clear out a bit more. Um, man. Uh, 
Um, I'm also going to turn the box. I cleared out the area. I need to clear some more. Um, right. I made a cartograph image of my world. Uh, I did this in order to. Oh, oh, uh, and uh, I made a cartograph image so that I could uh, post it. I might cut that into the video. I might not. Uh, if I do, you probably just saw it. Or you are. Oh my gosh, this is not good. Don't do it. Oh, that was horrible. I can't believe that. I don't even know where he came from. Like, I've been sleeping at night because I don't want you guys to miss anything interesting. And apparently, I wasn't sleeping at night fast enough. Uh, he didn't blow anything up. All my tools are a mess now. Alright, what? What on? Oh, I guess I dropped that one. That one didn't get down. Alright. Picture how what the world looked like. You can hardly see it. Uh, it's just a little bitty. You know what? I have an idea. Bam. I think that will do what I want. I believe you guys are seeing the map. I'm going to zoom in for you guys. Let's see. This is where I am right here. So that is the first image of my world as a map. Uh, that is the only map I did. I didn't look for anything, so I have no idea what is happening in the world currently. Um, I guess it's a little bit cheaty. I kind of know how big the desert is. I know there's a, a, a Tiaga biome over here, a lot of water. Um, but, I mean, I, I thought I would like to keep you guys abreast of the situation so that you had an idea of what the world was like. Um, I think I will do this every major step in the world so I might show you guys a second uh, map where I'm currently at now that I've grown the tree yeah so I'm going to get back to Minecraft and we're back to Minecraft okay so now you have an idea of what my world looks like this big tree turned out much bigger than it wanted um, I actually saw Etho from Etho's lab. Uh, he's one of my inspirations for doing an LP. He does amazing stuff. I saw him do a very nice trick. Apparently they fixed uh, trees before. If you were to grow trees in a block like this, I'm starting on an edge. I'm going to move into the center. Okay, so this was a 5x5. Five five, and I just put trees on all of them. And then I went ahead and I grew each of them in a line, starting from one edge and moving across, row by row, until I had one solid block of wood. Apparently in the past, there being trees meant that uh, bone meal, because of the leaves, bone meal in the tree would get in the way, or the branches of the other trees sprouting out would cause problems and because there was a solid object next to it it would want to grow above the solid object uh, now apparently they have fixed that so that you can grow them in a block like this I suppose that is really nice I also suppose that it could be a pain in the butt um, I grew this hoping for only small trees it used to be that uh, you could not get these big huge trees if you were in certain biomes. Oh, there's a cactus around here. Oh, okay. uh, it used to be that you could only get these large trees in specific areas. Uh, I think they've done away with that. Uh, it might have something to do with having out of the jungle. I don't know. We're about 
10 minutes in, I haven't gotten too much building done, so we're going to pause here while I massacre some trees, gather some more wood, and then we'll be putting in the next floor. A uh, quick view of uh, how I handle chopping down sets of trees. I am very meticulous. I do them a layer at a time. I tend to start by chopping down any visible wood and then knock out all the leaves. I think one of the words that has been used to describe me is meticulous, and that's a fairly uh, accurate assessment of me. If there was ever a more gratifying way to collect something than there is to shear leaves, I haven't found it yet. Sadly, my shears broke, and I'm not willing to make another pair. Say la vie. Well, as you can see, I've managed to chop down all of the oak trees that I had. Makes one, two, three stacks and a little bit more. I believe we had around uh, about 20 something of them before. So that puts us at around just about three whole stacks of oak that we pulled out of that. As you can see, I did decide to make a couple more sets of shears and I did gather those leaves. I will be needing a lot of leaves when I start growing this tree taller and uh, creating a canopy for it. So I figured those were kind of necessary. Pro tip for anybody who doesn't know, if you decide that you want to gather any of the vines, if you start at the top, it'll destroy all one and you only gather a single one. Whereas if you start at the bottom and work your way up, you can gather quite a few. Oh, I went ahead and gathered some material. Oh no. I went ahead and gathered some materials in order to show you guys how I'm building this. Uh, outer ring. Now, right now, I'm just going to go ahead and build the outer ring so that I can build it non stop. I don't have to worry about chopping out any pieces or adding supports. Uh, like I said, this level is going to be one inside the previous level. Uh, after that, I'll go ahead and show you how I did the, the rings inside and we're going to create the floor. Uh, the floor does look really good from the pie. I have a couple of photos that, I, like I said before, I might, uh, I might insert them into the video so that you can see a couple of things. But I, I think that some of the earlier footage covers the the same vantage points that I showed when I took the pictures, uh, screen captures, screen captures, captures, gosh. Um, if you notice that uh, I sound a little bit strange, it's because I did quite late where I am and there is somebody sleeping in the other room who well, I do not want to wake up with bother. At this point, I'm going to finish the ring and we'll be back to do the boom. Alright, this is fairly simple. What I do is centric circles, one deep, all the way around. Not filling in crap like I keep doing. And eventually you end up with something like this. We're now up to our second floor. Um, I got quite a bit of reporting already done. So I've got some editing to do now. Uh, until then, folks. Enjoy and be safe.